Yes, good afternoon, good evening, or good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is well, and thank you once again for tuning in. We have got a very exciting video today. We are talking about an absolute player. Mustard. He is unreal. The numbers on this guy are a joke. Before we get into it, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Now, there is a report come out from Football Fancast, and it was posted five hours ago, this report, um, from when we are recording the video. And as you can tell by the thumbnail, we are going to be talking about this man. Tottenham Spurs express interest to, to sign Machine. Now, this guy, if you don't know who that is, we'll come back to the report. This is Santiago Jimenez, the Argentine centre-forward for... Feyenoord in the Eredivisie. Now, let me tell you something. We are crying out for a number nine, in my opinion. Son can step up, but I think we all can say we we still need a number nine, regardless of the goals he's scoring. For where we want to be, we need a vocal point. And what I mean a vocal point, I mean someone who does his talking when it comes to scoring the goals. Now, this guy, the numbers are a joke. They're an absolute joke, right? 22 years of age, Argentine, international, part of a final team that has won. Like uh, we, we've got, we've got to talk about this. The Eredivisie last year, or in recent years, has been dominated by Ajax, right? Been dominated by Ajax. The last f 2019 Ajax, 2020 Ajax, 2021 Ajax, 2022 Feyenoord. And what was instrumental to that was Santiago Jimenez. This season alone, this season alone, right? They played, let me find the game. They played, go ahead, Eagles. He got a goal. Surprise. Because he's an absolute machine. They played Ajax. 4-0. A hat trick against the biggest. That It's like Liverpool Man City or Arsenal Man City or United City or like the one of the biggest games in Holland, and you've scored a hat trick at their ground, which caused riots all over Amsterdam for Ajax fans. This guy's numbers this season are insane. Seven games played, 10 goals and two assists for Santiago Jimenez. An absolute beast of a player right now. He is a machine. He started 100% of the games. He has contributed to 46% of Feyenoord's goals this season. And as you can see, the numbers on the screen are, are insane. Now, people are going to say, oh, but he only done it in the he only done it in the Eredivisie. Okay? He's only done it in the Eredivisie. Let's look at last year in the Europa League. Last year in the Europa League. Nine games, five goals in the Europa League. Let's look at the CONCAF Champions Cup. Okay, he didn't do too well there. His Eredivisie record, 30 goal contributions in 39 games, right? For Liga MX in Mexico, 39 games played, 13 goals, 6 assists. 16 goal contributions in 39 games. Like, the numbers, one goal in two games there of an assist. The numbers since he's joined Feyenoord, 33 goals and 5 assists. In 53 games. That's 38 goal contributions in 53 games. This guy is 22 years of age. An absolute beast. One practically carry. Well, he didn't carry them, but his main position is obviously a number nine. He has played out wide a couple of times uh, throughout his career. Um, he's actually, believe it or not, he was born in Argentina has Mexican citizenship, right? Also has Italian citizenship. He's left-footed. His contract expires in 2027. People are calling this guy a machine. His numbers are ridiculous in a Feyenoord shirt, right? When we look at Feyenoord in the league right now, right? They're sitting fourth. They've scored 26 goals. 26 Goals in seven games. 
and conceded six. They have a goal. I mean, it's near PSV have scored 23 goals in seven games with two assists. Feyenoord beat Ajax 4-0, beat Go Ahead Eagles 3-1, won their Champions League game against Celtic 2-0. Um, and who was involved in the goal? You guessed it. Um, I think he actually came off the bench. He came off the bench that game. Um, Feyenoord are, you know, they won their Champions League game. They beat um, Havainen 6-1. Right, which is insane. They beat Utah 5-1. They are absolutely flying. And he is the main man in the team. They've got Atletico Madrid on um, Wednesday, which is going to be a very, very tough game. But Feyenoord, bearing in mind, one of the, like, the, the main man at Feyenoord, um, you know, their manager, um, we wanted him for ages. But absolutely, we are heavily linked to him. Um, and now, you know, we're looking at Postacoglu, and I'm pretty sure everyone is absolutely over the moon. We've made that choice. But um, in terms of, you know, what Arnie Schlott has done with him is made him an absolute machine. Like, fair play to Arnie Schlott. But this guy, now transfermarket.co.uk, value him at 20 5 million euros. Now, the PSV chairman, IX chairman, and Final chairman apparently have all come out in the last few, last year or so and said they're going to be, they, they're asking for more money on their players. Go and get this done. For firepower, we'd have Santiago Jimenez, Cumin Son, Kulazewski, Madison, right? Brennan Johnson, Viliz, Richarlison, Brian Hill. Perisic when he comes back. That is more than enough firepower if we have a vocal number nine like this guy. He's won he's won a lot of trophies already. He's won, what, seven trophies? Three, four, five. He's won six trophies. He won the Gold Cup with Mexico. Um, you know, he's won a league title um, with Feyenoord. And potentially, it's a two-horse race between Feyenoord and PSV. But this guy, I am all for it. I am all for it. You know, he's got four, five goals in, in 20 appearances for Mexico as well. Um, I am all for it. All for it. Go and get it done. We need a number nine. We have started the season absolutely magnificent. And dare I say it, dare I say it, if Manchester City and Arsenal draw this game, on Sunday, and we were to beat Luton, we would be top of the league after eight games, which is absolutely ridiculous. We are four months into our new era, our new project, our process, if you want to call it that. The football we're seeing is is some of the best I've seen in recent years. Um, let's get. I want to get back to this report on um, on Jimenez because there's a lot of people talking about it. Um, Talking about him. And the report says, what's the latest news? Uh, since the summer transfer window uh, has closed, Spurs have been linked with plenty of moves like Bayer Leverkusen centre-back, Susulo, Susulo winger, Ivan Tony, and Chelsea midfielder Conor Gallagher. Um, but there has also been a couple of exit rumours. Um, here we go. In N17 reported... Um, in N17, Eric Dyer is reportedly considering an exit, having attracted interest from AS Roma, where he's supposedly tempted for a form, uh, to form a reunion with Jose Mourinho, whilst Hoiberg is also looking for a way out, having been unhappy with his lack of game time so far this season under manager Ange Postacoglu. At the final stadium, Santiago Jimenez was a player that has been linked to move away to the capital before the deadline, where Chiefs claim to be held a meeting with his representative, which led him into planning to submit an offer for the centre-forward. Whilst the deal for the 22-year-old foul to come to fruition, 90 minutes uh, have revealed um, that the Lily Whites recently sent scouts to watch Mexico International live in action as they set their sights on a second swoop at the, stent of, uh, at the start of the new year. They thought they are set to face stiff competition from two of the biggest rivals um, in the top flight. So. We've sent scouts. It looks like we're, we, you know, we're, we're trying to do the business. 
It then goes on to say the Premier League three giants are set to battle to secure the services of the attacker at the beginning of 2024. After all seemingly making contact um, with landing a new striker, the number one priority, the number one priority for all his admirers. Despite Alejo Valiz arriving over the summer from Rosario Central, Postacoglu is believed to view Vainord's prized asset as a, as a direct long-term replacement for Harry Kane. Um, wow. Since putting pen to paper from Feyenoord from CD Cruz as of last summer, Jimenez has 38 goal involvements, 33 goals and five assists to his name in 53 appearances, with an extremely prolific form in the final third, having him already being dubbed as a Mexican machine. This guy, I'm telling you, Arnie Slots, he earns £13,000 a week. Has also recorded a total of 31 shots so far this season, which is more than any of his fellow teammates in the Eredivisie. Sponsored by Adidas, the left-footed ace has the ability to operate out wide on the right wing, uh, alongside his usual role when leading the line through the middle. Um, so his versatility is likely um, yet another attractive attribute to the boss alongside the threat of his opposition making him a no-brainer of a deal to pursue should the opportunity present itself. He is a number one transfer target for three Premier League clubs. And one of those is Tottenham. Go and get this done. Give Posta Coglu the keys to do the job to the best of his ability. Like I said, we've started absolutely magnificent. We've won five of our first seven games, drawing two. We are undefeated. We have got games. You know, if we can get to January, I've said this so many times, if we can get through to January, it's a big if without getting any injuries. We've got four games now between now and December that are winnable. The likes of Palace, the likes of Luton, the likes of Fulham, the likes of Wolves, the likes of Chelsea. Admittedly, they won tonight. Chelsea are not that good. They're not that good. They're really not. Like, genuinely, right now, I, I, I feel that what we're doing as a football club is what I've wanted to see for ages, which is play the right football. Now we, now we just need to lay the foundations. This guy is an absolute machine. Go and get it done. Go and get it done. 25 million euros. Apparently, they're looking at 40 million euros. Go and get it done. Like, seriously, I, I think he genuinely has a lot of the attributes to be a top, top, top striker. 22 years of age, Mexican international, already won the Gold Cup with Mexico, which I don't think they've won in a few years. I think USA and Canada have won it. Or USA have won it quite a few times recently. But genuinely, if we can bring him in and we can get through and the injuries are kind to us and we don't get, you know, we don't get shafted with injuries, then I I generally think we I generally think we can have a really good season. Like Postacoglu has completely galvanized the fans, got us on board, playing attractive football. Now go and give him the best opportunity to get as many wins as we can and hopefully eventually bring Silverware back to the lane. We've got one game a week now until January. You know, December's going to be a big test when we've got, you know, five or six or seven games in the month. But at the moment, we've got three games in October. We've got three games in November. We've got six games until December when the going gets tough. The likes of Arsenal, Manchester City, Liverpool, and and and, and this and that have got a lot more games to come. Even Brighton and West Ham, you know, they're also in Europe. We can sit there, Newcastle in Europe too. We can sit there with United. We can sit there on, on the sidelines and just watch and sit back. Just quietly go about our business. Keep doing our thing. Keep winning games. Change the mentality at this football club. And that only comes from winning football matches. And bringing players like Santiago Jimenez is exactly what we need to do in January. 
I don't want to sit there until the 31st of them or, or 31st of January and do this where we, we, we've had another poor window. I want to be coming on and saying we've signed Santiago Jimenez and everyone is absolutely buzzing. But look, let me know your thoughts down below if you haven't already. I will see you all soon, people. Thank you all for watching. Bye.